in Canada in 2013, most of the males in the particle board males in Eastern Canada experienced a lot of problems with non-uniform wood supply. So mills were shutting down. They had to travel long distances to get the wood residues. So the idea was, are there any abundant residues around aside wood that can still produce particle board with the same kind of properties? My PhD research was on using flax and hemp residue as alternative material, raw material, for particle board compared to the wood that is on the market. The first test I would perform would be um, a bending test, a three-point bending test, where I apply a load to the boards to be able to determine their strength and stiffness. I would also perform a thickness swell test where we submerge the boards uh, one inch below fresh water for two hours and 24 hours to be able to determine its um, water absorption characteristics. The flax and hemp are stronger and thinner. You can use them to make applications, different applications like high-end furniture where you make a thinner, lighter board. The downside of the flax and using the flax and hemp residue is the fact that they have an, a waxy outer layer that makes it very difficult for the traditional glues to be able to penetrate the surface. Instead, a more expensive PMDI resin has to be used. Currently, um, in Europe, there are a number of companies that are actually making these flax and hemp boards and using them for furniture. Um, at the moment, there isn't a facility, a particle board mill in Canada that's using the flax or hemp residues. But this research proves that it's possible. It gives people the idea that, you know what, everything is possible.